So what about are uh, you looking at right now? I'll literally be about a few seconds and we will head out for a coffee. I'm just checking this trade. So Euro dollar this morning, couldn't get the entry there because it was at 4 a.m. So I got this one after the break. It's quite close to break even anyway. I had 6.5 for the target. We'll see how it goes. But apart from that, a few other bits on watch, but this was the main one. So I'm guessing if you're someone who's clicked on this video, you're someone who's either going through some kind of issue in their life or going through problems, or you feel just somewhat negative in your life. I wanna share with you from my experience what I think 99% of the population that feel this way are missing out on, and it is perspective. I can only come from my experience, but I've studied psychology for years upon years. I understand people very well. But the one thing that's helped me along the way is really trying to normalize negativity. Um, that might seem strange for some of you, but it really got me thinking, because people ask me this question all the time. Mike, what do you do on those days where you just feel negative? I'll give you an example. The reason why I'm filming this today is because today out of all days, I don't particularly feel in the best of moods. I'm not as static. Like I have loads of things to be grateful for, but if I'm just on a level with you, I'm not right now over the moon. Like I woke up this morning, I've done my typical uh, procedure that I do something what I call the window of opportunity which is there's this phase and I'll give you another tip here which will be super helpful so essentially the first 15 minutes of when you wake up are the most crucial so if you're someone who feels negative right now and you're trying to combat that then the first 15 minutes if you can take control of that 15 minutes just think about opportunities you've got the fact that you're alive family health all of these things you do that in the first 15 minutes of your day already just by coming on this video that will give you so much moving forward but besides the point you can still do all of that and you might just be in a low mood I think sometimes we overanalyze absolutely everything like sometimes you are just in a low mood the difference is most people when they get in these phases or this funk or in this mood and for whatever reason you can't shake it now it might be a valid reason like you might be in a mood because something has happened and it could be plausible but more often than not majority of people they walk around every day in a low mood now just because you're not ecstatic and you're not happy or how you define happiness doesn't mean by default that must mean that you're negative so just because you're not over the moon doesn't mean right now I'm in a negative mood and I need to figure out why that is no you just need to get on with what you need to get on with so what has worked for me when I have felt this way is I'll look at my list of goals I will have the self-awareness to realize right I'm aware I don't really feel in the best mental state of mind right now and it could be for so many factors it could be i'm overwhelmed i have a lot of pressure i manage lots of businesses however i will recognize that and go if i don't do the goals that i've got to do today so let's say i've got six or five call it five i've got five things i've got to tick off today if i don't do it what happens nothing changes i have a day where i have low mood and at the end of the day i've not done what i needed to do so it doesn't achieve anything however the goals that I've got to do that day, can I still do them even in my, if I'm not in the best of mood? Is the answer yes or no? And it's usually yes, I can still do them. So what's gonna change? Absolutely nothing. And what that does is it makes you become more comfortable with the fact of life's gonna move on anyway. The problems that you think that you have, people would trade places. They would swap their problems for your problems over in a, in a heartbeat. And then secondly, you can still do what you need to do. You just have to accept that you might not be ecstatic doing it and that's okay. Because we're in a competitive environment because there are people out there that also feel exactly how you feel, which is why I said, I mean, 99% of the population might be a bit extreme, but you get my point. Most people are somewhat negative, moaning, complaining about all kinds of things. And a lot of the times we feel negative about things that don't even affect us or these are future problems that haven't even happened yet and we conjured them up in our mind. But the reality is you will feel better if you just get caught more comfortable with the fact of, well, if most of the time I'm going to feel somewhat like this, I best get comfortable still being efficient whilst I feel that way. That is a, a hack. Like you will put yourself ahead of call it 90% of the population if you can do that. Because each time there are two people, there's one person who feels exactly how you feel, they'll look at what they got to do that day and they will still do what they've got to do that day. And then you will look into it and go, why, why am I feeling like this? And you start over analyzing things that don't need to be analyzed. You're just not in the best mood and that's okay, it happens. 
you have to become more of a person of duty that's going to help you because if you felt the if you felt the sense of duty it's my duty to still do this because my word means something to me you would find that if you've done five goals every day for five days that's 25 things how could you how could you not progress if you've still done 25 it could be bite-sized small tiny things how could you not progress if you've done that for that week and you could at least hold your head up high and say look do you know what i've not been in the best of mood this week but guess what I felt negative, but I still done it anyway. And I've done 25 things that contribute towards this bigger picture that I'm trying to accomplish or I'm trying to achieve. And I've done it. And then guess what? We move on again. But the funny thing is, once you do that, you'll feel better anyway. So a lot of the times, the, the emotion that you're trying to shake, the thing that's standing in the way is you doing what you need to do when you don't feel like doing it. And it just comes down to discipline. So we can, we can rephrase and we can reshape all of these things that I'm talking about. But the bottom line, it comes down to this. Like, you think, I don't know what it feels like to feel negative. I know what it feels like to live in a, a council estate, have these big ambitions and dreams and not really know where I want to go, or how I'm going to achieve it. Like, I get it. I understand how you feel. But what I found is take control over the small things and they do add up more than what you possibly could imagine. Like, you doing 25 things for that, that week might not move the needle completely. However it will develop a type of mentality. So when you recognize that feeling, oh, hold on a minute, I don't feel great. And what you could do is go, right, there's someone else out there that feels exactly how I am and they're looking at shit they got to do that day. And guess what? They're doing it and I'm not. So am I going to sit there and dwell on it? Or am I going to do it anyway? Because it's not going to change anything. I would have just done what I needed to do in more of a, a lower mood versus a higher mood. And then you'll find by doing that, you'll shake that mood off anyway. So again, these are simple things, but I wanted to share that with you because how many people out there, millions of people are over analyzing every single emotion, why they feel. And just because they don't feel happy all the time, they use that as a reason to go, that must mean I'm negative. That's really not the case. So, cut. Oh, fuck, I can't even speak. Right, cappuccino, done. We've got some things to do. But on a final note as to what I was talking about, I want you to get more comfortable with this is going to be most of your life. And I really don't mean that in a negative way. I mean it in a way that you're going to have so many phases in your life where you're going to start to question or you're going to feel dissatisfied and you will feel as if you're almost entitled to feel this joy, excitement every single day. But most people, most successful people that you look up to and you admire, you might see a bite-sized clip and think well, they're happy all the time. They're not. I know lots of people. I'm successful myself. I know lots of other successful people and they're all the same. The only difference is the way they deal with pressure in their life, they embrace it. They want problems. They're like, right, this is another opportunity for me to be strong. This is another opportunity for me to go, I don't feel the best that I could feel, but guess what? I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to get this shit done regardless. And at the end of the day, that pride and that duty takes over where you're like, do you know what? Most people wouldn't have got this done. They would have dwelled on it, but I still was efficient. And if you can almost make that a little game in your head, you're going you're gonna to build neural pathways in your mind that when you have struggle and you have friction and you have pressure, and as life becomes more pressure that hits you with curveballs, you're confident enough to deal with it. Where if you always run from it thinking, I feel negative, I should just... Uh, try to find a way to be happy. That's not always the road. I promise you, I've been exactly where you've been. And I'm living proof that you can come from a bad situation and you can be around quite bad experiences, to be quite frank. But you can come out on the other side and realise it's the resilience. And then when you have those windows of when things, don't get me wrong, are full of joy and full of passion and you're really happy and excitement or what you determine happiness, guess what? You embrace that fully but you've got to love all of it. Like for me, when I have these moods, I just think, do you know what, another opportunity. You've got to love the lows just as much. Otherwise, you'll always be upset because the moment that you're not over the moon, you'll think something bad is happening. But the reality is, you've just got to perform. 